business cards. Currently in Washington, D.C., Congress is struggling to address the rising cost of health care in this country. One proposal that has been a source of major controversy is known as the public option. Please discuss how you feel about the public option in general and what you would do specifically as governor to address the health care crisis in this country. You know, unfortunately, I'm not in Congress and I don't have the opportunity to vote on that issue, but I wish I was. Because if I was in Congress, I would fight for the public option. I would make sure that everybody in Alabama has affordable health care. I would not settle for any program that left 25 million people without health care. You know, we have a president that sent our troops to war looking for weapons of mass destruction that wasn't there. But he couldn't see a hurricane in New Orleans that was there. Folks, let's get rid of it. I would fight for public option. I would fight for health care. And I wish that I had a vote in Congress. Congress. Ladies and gentlemen, remember the first question was about leadership. And I made the point that leadership is about saying the same thing to different audiences, even from political perspectives, may differ the people in the room. The first candidate's forum in this government race was down on the beach at Point Clear back on August 1st. All the Republicans were there, Commissioner Sparks was there, and a whole lot of very conservative businessmen were there. We were asked the question, what do you think about the health care bill moving through the House that includes a public option? Ron, remember which answer was? Your answer was, I'm against it. You didn't say to the BCA, I'm going to fight for the public option. You said I'm against it. And you ticked off all the reasons the folks in that room wanted to hear. Now let me tell you what I think. I'm what President Obama is. I think a public option could be one way to get us to universal access. But as the President said in the brilliant speech he made to Congress several months ago, it is not the only way, and we've got to find a way to get this right. I look forward to the House and Senate resolving their differences. I look forward to them coming up with a bill that does the following, that says to every low-income American, we're going to give you a subsidy to help you get insurance, that expands Medicaid so we cover the gaps that exist in it, that goes to small businesses and says, we're going to give you the help you need to provide insurance to people. I am for those things. I don't change that based on what audiences I'm talking to. And that's what leadership is about, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a governor, you're going to be in a room with the BCA. And they're going to be looking at you saying, tell us. And you've got to decide, do you stand for something, or do you simply tuck and your yourselves with the wind? Don't go from different audiences and say different things if you're for the public option or the NAACP. Don't get in front of the business council and say you're against it. 